someone asks you how you would like your life to go as you grow up, what would you answer? Yes, I know. Words like happy, healthy and successful will probably come to your mind. There are many ways for a healthy living. It should be the primary goal of everyone to achieve a good health. Because without a good health, you won't able to focus on anything in life. That's why Mahatma Gandhi once said, It is health, the real wealth and not pieces of gold and silver. Happiness will only come when we will be healthy and fit. But today we live in a world where we value things more than people, want more than family, food more than health and status more than life. We, students of class 5th of Holy Innocence Public School are here to make you all more conscientized about having a healthy extent through our weekly tasks on the theme Health and Wellness. So, let's get started. Hello my dear friends, I am Vaishnav. As you all know, it is said that you saw a habit and you repay character. So, a character and you repay destiny. Yes friends, our habit form our future. Habit is the intersection of knowledge, skills and desire. Healthy habits are hard to develop and often require change your mindset. But if you are willing to make sacrifice to better your health, the impact can be far reaching. So let us cultivate some healthy habits. Here we go. Hi, I'm Nina. Surya Namaskar, also known as the ultimate asana. It's a complete workout for your entire physical system and the one that does not require the use of any equipment. It aids us in breaking free from the exhaustive and dull routines of our life. When done in the right way and the right time, Surya Namaskar can totally change your life. Oh. Hi friends, meditation is a mind and body practice that has a long history of use for increasing calmness and physical relaxation, improving psychological balance, and enhancing overall health and well-being. Daily meditation can help you perform better at work. Meditation helps to clear our mind and focus on the present moments, which gives a huge productivity boost. Thank you.
great books help you to understand and they help you to feel understood reading the best books influences the readers to discover their positive energies and to channelize them towards a healthy living reading is the best hobby with several benefits to your mental and physical health thank you i am ashwin strengthen our muscles and bones build immunity and lower the risk of many diseases it is a wonderful way to help in developing life skills
shoes without you tripping. Let's get you grooving to the beat right now. Don't get down into your sorrows. Keep your head up high and touch the sky. No. confidence and positively impacting personal relationships as well as reduce the risks for disease and negative medical conditions that stem from bad hygiene here are some ways to practice proper personal hygiene
there, red, um, yellow, red. and green. When the red light appears, you need to stop the vehicle. Oh. When the yellow light appears, you need to get ready. Mm. When the green light appears, you can go. Okay. Traffic signals helps to reduce accidents. If you are not following these rules on roads, your life is at risk. Oh my god. Traffic rules are made for our safety. So everyone, please follow the traffic rules and save yours as well as others' life. Thank you all. Hello everyone, I am Deva. Let's talk about some safety rules. Don't touch open sockets, plugs, electronic wires with an wet hand. Don't play with uh, fire and matchsticks. Only use sharp the knife, blade, scissors, etc. under the supervision of an adult. Always keep a first aid box at home for an emergency. Always remember how your life is precious. So friends, follow the rules and be safe. Bye bye. about feeling great, having more energy, improving your health and boosting your mood. Good nutrition, physical activity and healthy body weight are essential parts of a person's overall health and well-being. Here we the students of class 50 is going to present something about uh, importance of having proper food.
carbohydrates are energy giving foods that contain starch and sugar proteins are body building foods fats are energy giving vitamins and minerals are food that make us resistant to diseases all these food groups are vital for our good health food when eaten in proper intervals and right amount alone with water children avoid junk foods these habits alone with the right education and the physical exercise lead to an overall development of an individual which ultimately becomes greatest resource of a country thank you all I am Dr. Shri Rajini. We are discussing about a food or balanced diet, healthy food, unhealthy food, or how proteins, minerals are included there. And first of all, breakfast. Breakfast is must for our body because one day energy is there in breakfast. That's why I am saying you want to eat breakfast must. Second one is I make a the chart here. Then you can understand how proteins, minerals are included there. Then we can go to the chart. Here, healthy food and unhealthy food. First of all, grain means rice, wheat, bread, chapati, like that. Carbohydrates are included in the grain, and grain help us to easily digestion for our body. And the second one is vegetables means tomato, potato, carrot, like that. Vitamin and minerals are included in the vegetables, and there is also leafy. Are there. If the vegetables help us to high pressure and diabetes controlled from leafy vegetables. And the third one is fruits. Mango, orange, apple, like that. Vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and the fiber is included in the fruits. And the fourth one is milk and egg. Milk and egg, calcium, protein, milk and egg have included as calcium and protein. And the last one is fish and meat. Vitamin B12 and protein are included in the fish and meat. And the last one is junk food or fast food. Coca-Cola, sandwich, pizza like that. High calories and fat. We, uh, our body can more fat from this Coca-Cola like that. Grain, vegetables, fruits, milk and egg, fish and meat. They all are healthy food. But junk food or fast food is not healthy to our body. This is unhealthy food. That's why the, the topic here. And thank you for this wonderful opportunity to discuss health and wellness. Thank you. Hi, I am Ganesh. I am going to sing a song about our health and fitness. Stop eating the, stop eating the sugary food. Stop eating that, stop eating that fatty food. It's bad for you, it's bad for you. Sugary food, it's bad for you, it's bad for you. Fatty food, too much sugar is bad for you. Okay, soda, a little box too. Bread and grease are good for you. I love cheese and yogurt too. Fruit and vegetables are good for you. Mm, start eating healthy food. Give them healthy food. 
feeling great, having more energy, improving your health and boosting your mood. Good nutrition, physical activity and healthy body weight are essential parts of a person's overall health and well-being. There is no questioning the importance of healthy food in your life. Unless you maintain a proper diet for a healthy body, you may be prone to diseases, infection or even exhaustion. Some of the most common health problems that arise lack of a proper diet are heart diseases, cancer, stroke and diabetes. Physically active, manage many health problems and improve your mental health by reducing stress, depression. Thank you. I am Nandakisha. I am here to tell you some ways to keep our heart healthy. No smoking. Do yoga. Do exercise regularly. Eat healthy. Keep smiling. No alcohol. Thank you. Hello my dear friends. I am Dr. Sarit Srinivas, a resident doctor working in Bangalore. I hope you all are doing good because I can see happy bubbly faces in front of me. You are happy that you are back to school, you are studying together and playing together with your favorite friends. Today I am here to tell you an interesting story about a king and his people. So let's hear the story. Once upon a time there lived a generous and kind hearted king. But the people of the country were not happy with their king because the king was very lazy and would not do anything productive other than eating and sleeping always. He spent days and weeks and months in his bed either eating something or sleeping. Then you know what happened? The king became a potato couch. The people started to worry about the king. One day the king realized that he could not even move his body, not even his foot. He became very fat and his enemies started to tease him make fun of him, calling him bulky king, fatty king, etc. The king invited expert people to his palace from different parts of his country to make him fit. Unfortunately, none could help the king gain his health and fitness. The king spent enormous amount of money, but everything went in vain. One fine morning, a holy man visited the country. He heard about the ill health of the king and informed the minister at the palace he could help and easily cure the king. Hearing these promising words, the minister became very happy. He requested the king to meet the holy man. The holy man resided at a very distant place from the palace. Since the king could not move his body, he asked the minister to bring him, bring that holy man to the palace. But the holy man really said, the king has to go to him in order to get the cure. After many effort, the king met the holy man at his residence. The holy man complimented the king that he was a good ruler and said that he would regain his health and fitness very soon. He asked the king to come for treatment the next day as he would be treated only if he come on food or by walk every day. The king was unable to walk even a few steps on the road, but aided by his followers, he reached the place somehow. Unfortunately, the holy man was not available there and his devotees requested the king to come and meet him the next day for treatment. This was repeated for two weeks and the king never met him and never had any treatment. Gradually, the king realized that he felt a lot lighter, lost a considerable amount of weight and felt more active than before. He also realized the reason why the holy man asked him to reach his place for treatment. Very soon, the king regained his health and became very happy. The people of the country also became very happy that they got their king back in good health. Health is wealth is the moral of the story. Be healthy while you can. Physical health and fitness is one of the most valuable assets in a person's life. You, our young generation, should never be like the king in the story. Without physical exercises, human body will become a cow to potato like the king. If health is everything, wealth will follow. Thank you. Friends, hope you all are 
aware that our health is the most important wealth that we have. In a pandemic situation like now, it becomes complicated to have a positive outlook on life. Most of the days we are stuck at home. So, we must strive to maintain a healthy body and mind even though we cannot attend any outdoor activities. We know that we can earn money if we lose it. But we can't get back our good health easily if once we lose it due to carelessness. Health is the only wealth that we are born with and we even die with our health. So, make a healthy lifestyle a priority. Thank you.